And I said, well, I'm, I'm sorry what I need to do. So she took me to Quincy Jones's. Is when I dropped the information about Quincy Jones. I let the chips fall wherever they fall. Right. You can withstand the pressure right. that goes when you, when, you, when you get it wrong. Just everything else up, man. Man, you gotta, you gotta buckle down, baby. Quincy said that to yeah. you? Negative. Does that mean you're not scared of anything? No. Really? No. no. It looks like more masks are going fall about Jamie Foxx's recent revelations. The race star is now known not for his prominent roles, but rather for spilling the dirty secrets of the powerful celebrities who terrorized the Hollywood for decades. So after Diddy's wild shenanigans with men were exposed, it seems like Jamie Foxx made a move against another prominent figure in the show business, and he has shared the sickening side of the legendary producer, Quincy Jones. Can't really recognize how really terrifying and devastating it is. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. So after Jamie Foxx had survived the attempt on his life for exposing Diddy's wild parties for men, the actor decided to play the Russian roulette with his life once again. And this time, the Academy Award winner aimed a bit higher as he shared the truly disgusting side of another entertainment. Mobile Quincy Jones allegedly freaking the elderly producer out since the crimes he'd been committing for multiple decades are now in the open. And I studied hard for 28 years, man. And there's not, uh, for seven decades, we never stopped. But Jamie Foxx doesn't hold back. And after his unexpected medical emergency that almost got him end up six feet under, the actor doesn't care about the play of powers in the show business, as he wants everyone to find out about the horrible terms and rules that the industry elites impose on young artists. The actor recalled his own experience with Quincy Jones, where he was invited to his party by a known handler, Oprah Winfrey. As Jamie Foxx stated, working tightly with the industry elites helped him to rise to the incredible heights in his career. And it all started when the actor got a fateful call from Oprah, inviting him to join Quincy Jones at one of the producer's parties. Well, it's not a secret that Oprah is a famous gatekeeper in the show business. And if you are lucky to get a call from her, you make make a lot of useful connections. I get a call from somebody. Hi, Jamie Foxx. This is Oprah. I'm like, who? However, as Jamie Foxx said, the reality was far from his expectations. And in fact, Oprah invited him to perform certain favors for the entertainment mogul. Well, if you remember the TV icon has been previously accused of sending young girl to a known predator Harvey Weinstein and even covering for his dirty activities, as Oprah was slammed for her shameful ways to earn credit among the industry elites, she defended herself, allegedly saying, there wasn't anything illegal by me introducing very young women, introducing very young women into Harvey Weinstein home. Most were over 20, one, what they did was none of my business. This is just how it is in the industry if you want to get ahead. And apparently, as Jamie is now saying Quincy Jones had a bit different preferences, and Oprah was satisfying his needs for young talents by introducing him to different young celebs who needed guidance and help with their career. A, a lot of times we were afraid to speak out on things because of you never know who may be affiliated with what. So just like any other young and aspiring star, Jamie felt honored to be invited to Quincy Jones' house, and little did the actor know what has been waiting behind the closed doors of the producer's lavish mansion. It looks like many other artists, he had been given a choice whether to agree to industry's terms and elevate his career or keep playing in mediocre movies for a pitiful salary. You got an opportunity to do something great, walk into the history books, and you're blowing it, and I need to help you with it. And it feels like we all know what Jamie had answered back then, but what the actor didn't mention is what kind of services he had to perform to join the ranks of the movie A-listers. But knowing the rumors about Quincy Jones' intimate preferences and Jamie's love to film everything, it's easy to connect the dots and guess why the music legend is panicking now. Do you, do you still have the tape? He knows, he knows. Yeah, I still got the tape. I still got the tape. I put it in my safe deposit box. Although many netizens praise Jamie for speaking up, some fans are still worried about his safety and well-being. The actor has just survived a vicious attempt on his life, and he doesn't want to the history to repeat so soon. As one user wrote, Jamie Foxx need to be quiet. He just rolled out of a coffin, and if he keeps this up, he'll be rolling back in one. And another user added, it took a lot of courage for Jamie Foxx to tell what is going on. But hey, the story doesn't end here, and there are way more people who had suffered from Quincy Jones' despicable activities. Another Hollywood A-lister, Will Smith, also spilled the beans on how he became a household name with his sitcom Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with the help of Quincy Jones and shared previously unknown story in what circumstances he chose to do that show. Cool. And he said, hey, you know, I want you to meet Quincy Jones, Quincy Jones. Well, it's not the first time we hear about private auditions happening in Quincy Jones' house. And apparently, this is exactly how Will Smith got his coveted role as a fresh prince of Bel Air. Now, we can only imagine what the young actor went through, but apparently, this experience has damaged and scarred him for life. And at least it explains the actor's quick rise to success and the Oscar he had gotten a few moments after hitting Chris Rock live at the ceremony. Smells like another conspiracy, if you ask me. And over the years, Will Smith has already proved multiple times how loyal he had remained to the industry elites and how blindly he had been following their rules. 
So let's rewind back to Will's first task ever, which the actor successfully completed at that party after Quincy's offer. Now, and you can change your life forever. I was like, F it then. Yes. Will described this disgusting experience in his memoir entitled It Takes Will, and judging by the name of this book, you can already guess what the actor had been through. So in this book, he honestly described the whole encounter with the famous producer. I grabbed Quincy's arm, probably a little harder than was respectful. Quincy, no, wait, no, I can't do this now. I whispered in his ear. Quincy looked at me with an unflinching, tipsy joy. I'll keep setting up. He ordered the room. I'm gonna talk to Will in the library. That sounds like beyond disgusting if you have a good fantasy and can imagine what was happening in the library between the two of them. And it seems like Quincy has something to be fear of if more details about his private auditions with young talents will surface. But apparently, people are too scared to share the truth because they all know what's happening to whistleblowers. What is happening in Hollywood? That a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun. And it looks like the experience of Jamie Foxx and Will Smith are just a tiny peak of a huge iceberg. And over the course of his producing career, Quincy Jones had broken numerous people and damaged multiple innocent lives. Even his daughter, Kitida, believes that Quincy was offering a nasty deal to her fiance, Tupac. And that's why she hates So Dad so much. Apparently, Quincy made a pass at Tupac and offered the late rapper his help in exchange of sleeping with him, as it happened to Jamie Foxx and Will Smith. But since the rap legend wasn't impressed by this offer, he refused. And later, Kitada was recalling her dad being against her union with Tupac. As she said, I remember one night he was just like, you know you can date whoever you want, but you will not bring Tupac to my house. That's one rapper you will not be dating. It feels like Tupac could have become another star producer by Quincy Jones in his bedroom. And maybe, even maybe, the rapper agreed to these disgusting experiments with the famous producer. He could have been alive now. But sadly, we'll never hear from Tupac, and all we have to do is keep speculating about the nature of their relationship. You know, people saying wild stuff, man, like, you know, Quincy yeah. Jones, he came on to Tupac, he offered Tupac such and such. Now, with the help of more celebs, the truth about Quincy's ugly moves may surface, and the producer will be joining another gatekeeper, Harvey Weinstein in jail, if the fact of any mistreatment or forced intercourse will be proved so far, the producer calls his influence on young artists a blessing, or in his own words, life lessons. Young blood, step into my office, let me pull you a coat. That means I have a life lesson for you. Many fans find it crazy how Quincy Jones still remains respected and loved by millions of people. Yes, his legacy will live forever, but the things he had been doing behind the closed doors with his artists can easily flush all the good things he had done down the toilet. As one user wrote, that's why these celebrities got mental issues. All this ish makes sense. I see clearly see what's going on. And another user added, just like the devil, to promise you riches and fame in exchange for your soul. It happens over and over. Well, it looks like after this exposure, there won't be any escape for Quincy, and his dirty deeds are out in the open. And what do you think about this, guys? Do you believe that Quincy forces young artists to perform certain favors in exchange for fame and glory? And will more of his shady activities be exposed in the future? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you're thinking. And in the meantime, check my other videos about the shady side of the industry. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, and I promise to be back very soon.